Hello everyone and welcome to another Far Cry video. Now this time I included HD resolution pack as I haven't done in previous Far Cry game which was Far Cry Primal I think which I also tested. So as you can see the settings are completely maxed out except motion blur is at off. Now for the first part I'm going to show the gameplay and then the last section I'm going to show the benchmark which is not really reliable but I thought I would still include it. So I thought I will show you this section as well which is the very beginning of the game and it is very demanding from CPU even though it is as I said really short but later I will show you the more demanding scene. Now as you probably noticed I'm mostly focusing on CPU utilization and in general CPU performance because this game is known for being very single CPU threaded and even though I'm getting almost all the time 100% of GPU utilization in some areas I'm actually CPU limited. So this shootout area is basically the same in terms of performance, but soon you'll see in the later scene. And this section is probably the most demanding that I could find, at least at the beginning of the game. You can also take notice at GPU usage history graph, which you can find here. And keep notice that the line must be completely flat to be GPU limited. But as you can see, it is not, and sometimes it dips into 80. 90% of GPU utilization, so it's on the brink of CPU bottleneck. As far as I know, all their CPUs, such as Zen 1, first generation of Intel Core series, and probably some locked uh, second gen Intel series will struggle to keep this at 60 FPS stable. So despite it being a relatively modern game, it is very single CPU threaded. Recently I did the small test and I was wondering how my CPU would perform without SMT or hyper threading, but that was for Intel CPU. And because I've seen discussions that most uh, people with 5950X should disable SMT and honestly I disagree with that. I tested uh, three games which was Red Dead Redemption and Vulcan, uh, CSGO and this game. So long story short it was not worth it. It basically improved FPS by 5% or less and improved temperatures by 1 or 2 degrees. So it's really basically a nothing burger. Also what's interesting for this game that when I disabled SMT it introduced new stuttering even though I had still 16 cores enabled. So yeah that was really interesting and those stutters were also very noticeable so I really don't recommend disabling SMT or hyper threading for this game even though you might have plenty of cores. I don't know, it's probably some bug for the game, but yeah, it is what it is.
Now jumping to the daytime gameplay, which you will basically see for the most of the game. It's really not that CPU demanding anymore. Notice the total allocated and game VRAM usage. So the allocation is very high actually, 13 gigabytes. Of course this is with the official texture mod, but still. Of course keep in mind that it total allocated VRAM is not irrelevant. Both values are very important and the truth lies somewhere in between where you actually need the amount. So in this case I would probably guess 10 gigabytes or so but yeah you have to do extensive testing with different GPU configurations which is very hard because you cannot simply remove VRAM from the GPU so yeah just keep that in mind. And the main system memory is pretty high I would say at 13 gigabytes. Previously I tested Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition which is much more impressive graphically but it had lower memory system usage which sat at around 12 gigabytes. Also you might notice the temperatures of my 5950X that is completely normal. If I were using uh, IAO it would be significantly lower but it's still really not an issue. Now in general with hyper threading or SMT the gameplay is very smooth I would say. Thanks for saving my sorry ass. Shit. Shit. I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun hey, you. and return the favor. So yeah, this game is the last one that I played from Far Cry series. I'm yet to play a New Dawn and also Far Cry 6, which I also have and I will also test, but I just simply haven't played those yet. The main issue with this game, in my opinion, was the constant action, constant shootouts in the scenery. So it can be really frustrating, like in every corner someone tries to kill you, either animals or these guys. So the story was okay in my opinion, but the biggest issue was yeah, that constant action, like really you can get your breath just going through simple scenery. And in every corner there is a danger which kinda gets annoying pretty fast, at least in my opinion. So, so far it seems that Far Cry franchise peaked in third game, then the fourth game was kinda similar to third game, still very good game, and it went downhill I would say. So. For now, I think the Far Cry 5 was one of the weaker games. Many might disagree with me, but yeah, that's my opinion. And of course, I'm yet to play the two games which were released. So I might be wrong about those, but yeah, for now, that's my opinion. And for the last part of this video, I'm leaving you with a benchmark run. Also, if you 
referencing results from built-in benchmark, I have to warn you that it is not reliable and I highly recommend looking at average 1%, 0-1% lows from my MSI after Burner OSD instead because it will track way better. Built-in benchmark misses those stutters. So yeah, keep that in mind. So for now I am leaving you with the benchmark. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.